Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, as you can hear I have a new mic now. It's a lot more clearer and a lot more better in quality. Hopefully the control doesn't get picked up as much. I've been trying to reduce as much as possible. I've even taken up a professional um, controller just to try and reduce the sound of everything. But yeah, we're playing Resident Evil 8, The Village. I've completed this game about seven times already as I really enjoy it. Um, I might... I don't know if it'll end up putting me with a fin ammo at the start, I'm going to see how that feels. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. I'm going to watch every cutscene, I'm going to watch... I'll, I'll probably, if I've got the fin ammo already, I will... I don't care. Um, as I've completed this game too many times. So yeah, let's go through standard. Sorry for taking too long to upload. I've recently been working and I've been suffering from stomach and back pains recently, so yeah, I haven't had time to do anything. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rasco broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick... Ignore some of the sounds, it is literally just my microphone. My headset literally creaking. I don't know how to, to try and reduce some of the quality. Strange. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But home so the and her heart story here is apparently supposed to be based off the Four Lords, as everyone probably already knows. Came up here but and offered one just of his a many little in sight. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as a wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. Why read that to a so child? My <laughs> poor kid. The girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. I'd be devastated if I'd hear that story. She's asleep. I'm in tears. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that. One of my friends There's described this baby as dirty for some reason. Like it's a very dirty baby. It's being paranoid. It's not. Maybe just the way the animation is, I don't know. I'm sorry. It's quite funny. Until so you just said, like, oh, I I'm think Rose cautious. looks very dirty. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. She's so blooming creepy as well. I'll finish dinner. Yeah, so I've got a new mic now, so hopefully it's a lot more clear and, and a lot more better in quality. Um, yeah, I can go a little bit more further away from the mic this time. I can't blame her. I've got a blue snowball mic this time. Did you say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. I said I might just blitz through some things here and there, but like, probably talk about some of the game as well. This is actually I love this game. I said I completed it like seven times already. It's like I said to your mom, that book's too scary for you. 
but I might have an infinite ammo on it. I'm not sure. Um, Almost there. If I do, I do. Actually, I'll do this. That's a bedroom. If only I could run. That'd be funny. Drop the baby. <coughs> Gotta do a deep clean. There's a little thing about the bakers here saying it's like a toxic gas leak. Just try and cover up everything. Well, pretty obvious that's not true because of Resident Evil 7. I'll need to play that game at some point. This already. Again, at least. I got the gold edition not long ago, so I need to play again. There's Mr. Everywhere. It's around. I should get rid of it someday. Another reference to the seventh one. I swear this game is pretty much based off of the fourth. Like what the fourth game was meant to be, but in first person. I absolutely love this game. There's where to bed. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Do 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 do. Right. Sleep little one. Now you can run. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, uh, well, like a baby. She's alright, but are you? Mm, that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, Mister. It's chorba de la gum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native. What is it? Mm. Local wine too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. <sighs> you really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana. The pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I could. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <laughs> Mia, get down! Get down. Yeah. This is done. Mia. Oh god. Fun fact, the guy who plays Chris is actually the voice actor no! for Carlos in the Red Dead 3 remake. What? Why? Yeah. I discovered that no longer. Go on, move! All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan? Ethan? No. no. So yeah, Mia's deed. Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I've got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about the next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. Why don't you just there. sit over the phone instead of, like, face to face? That was the Doc. <laughs> A lot easier than that. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. No, yeah, I suppose. We did talk about it. hardly talk about anything else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, 
She's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan. You matter. You just Mia. Want... What are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. That was the last time you saw me, yeah. Well. Partially. That's a scary picture. Oh. <laughs> Such a gun. Oh. About damn time. What's your status? Is the package safe? What are you talking about? Where's, Where's Padme? And Rose. Is she alright? Is she safe? Duck. Language. What the hell happened here? Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Speed running like a boss. Okay, I ain't speed running this. Far from a speed runner. <laughs> I've done an if only running this with the uh, on caution, like ca um, casual though. What is it, caution? Ugh. I've realistically got what five more achievements to get in this. Free food. I do apologise if you hear a lot like a background noise and stuff like that when I'm playing. That said, this mic's like properly picking up everything. Like, proper picking up everything. More than my old mic anyway. At least I can actually like speak in this one a lot clearer and it's a lot louder as well. It's a lot more... <laughs> you can hear me clearly like speak a lot better. I can actually like sit away from it and you can still hear me. Which is great. I just sit right beside it. I hope I don't pick up the uh, Xbox controller as much. Oh, it's a mouse. So yeah, as I go through this gameplay, I would like start um, just going like facts about the game and. Some of the voice actors um, in the game of like who some of them are and what previous work they did. Um, and of course, Ethan here's the same Ethan who what voice actor did Ethan in the seventh game. And of course, same with Mia. I'm not gonna lie, I'm glad they fixed uh, Chris's model. Um, Chris's model from the seventh game was, in my opinion, terrible. I think he looks a lot better now 
in this game he looks a lot more like Chris from the sixth and like the fifth game. It sounds a lot more like him as well, kind of. I think his model's a bit too thin on the seventh one. At least I balked him up a bit in this one. There we are, the village. Where the hell am I? I'll try and pick up all the treasures I can. I get to pick up some treasures. Where's a dead horsey? Oh. Mute. Mute. So, as you remember from like the seventh game, Ethan's hand literally got impaled by a screwdriver. Look how like, healed his hands are. It's great. Let's try a tractor. What happened? I said I might have infinite ammo. I'm not sure. Sent you. Nobody. There was an accident down the road. Umbrella sent me. What's going on? His fist scares me. His fist is more scary than the Lakins. Oh no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? The hell is you that? Gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? Yeah, I do. Watching the videos of these, like from different angles, it's pretty cool. There's like, if you go off camera, there's an actual lichen, like actually grabbing him. It's pretty cool. It's like subtle little details, even though it's like off screen, there's still something going on. Dead body. It's really, really cool. Wait, Wait there's, there's more. more. Oh, I do have infinite ammo. Okay. Hope no one minds that I've got infinite ammo. Jesus Christ. I couldn't remember if I did or not, but I do. What's wrong with this place? But the weapons aren't fully modded. It's just infinite ammo, so it's just literally just box standard weapon. I don't know if I completed this game without it, I can't handle. Oh, by hand. It's just like how perfect it cuts, so like it bites off the hand that you still got the weapon ring. It makes it so much, like, f better. It's so cool though, the, like, the graphics for like ripping a chunk off his hand. It's so cool. You know, if you actually run past him, 
um, like, and pick up the bot cuts here, apparently it just disappears. Yeah, that's what I was told. I don't listen to the radio. I just go straight up the stairs to trigger the car. So I will be quite watching the cutscenes, but Sapla is going to be dead, so I know all the cutscenes. This game. Right. Like that. Let's get the suitcase back. From what I read, apparently it was originally supposed to be a backpack. So yeah, it wouldn't bother me if it's a backpack, but I do like the fact it's a suitcase again. Which is pretty cool. I'll let you do it for the guys just appear here. That's what we do. It. Sorry, wait, yawn. Oh my goodness. Oh. Since I've got a better mic now, I might do a possible re-upload of Resident Evil 4, possibly, no, so Resident Evil 2 and 3 remake, when I can actually commentate over them. But I'm definitely, definitely, definitely doing Spider-2. There's no doubt about it. I keep, I keep, like, uh, delaying it. I don't want to. It's just that Resident Evil 8 came out, and I thought, yeah, I'm going to get Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 8 out of the way, sorry. Um, I think it's the finale as well, I'm not sure. No it's not, so it's fine. I think it's the next shot gonna, it's the infinite one. But... Maybe you just casually stay in this corner. Oh, a shot. Oh! Oh! Hey! I thought he bit me! He didn't. Oh, what a shot. So, yeah. Headshot. Oh, what like that. There's no end to them. Oh, headshot. Start the game. Go on. Die. Just die. Get to. There we go. I'm on it. Oi! There we go. Jeez, oh. Oh, come on. You lost. You're kidding me. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that headshot. No, I'm 
run quickly to another house. Oh, the big guy. You can actually kill him at the start, um, um, but yeah, I don't really have the weapons for that just now, so that's my point. And again, just run around here. Some stuff. Wait long enough to get captured, you can actually get shot by arrows or attacking guys. Iron right tail. Yeah. Just watch yourself. <laughs> you get sounded quite easily in this game. That triggered the cutscene. Oh no. Ah, oh, it helps a lot because I need that for a challenge for killing any, um, their own friends. Oh no, I need to make some healing items. That's fine, that's fine. No, it usually takes this long. Get two. Oi! Oh, screw this. There we go. That's what I needed. I needed that. It's Santa Claus. So apparently he used to be the chief of the village. Before Mother Miranda came in about. A big guy sure can move. Jealous, I want to move like that. Ooh. Oh man, I was watching one of the video gameplays of this, and it's like, oh, it's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Santa? Oh, 
Santa. Not to lady. Life and in death, we give glory. Uh, hello? You shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. What the hell? Hey, can you hear me? Oh, it's you. you. The child's father. Child's father. Child? Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose, yes. She is in great danger. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? The castle bell heralds danger. They're coming! <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again! <laughs> Rose is here? <laughs> so there's like... This is it. Oh, great lichens. The fabled monsters wolves of old. May they come to eat our flesh. May they come to tear us apart. So the enemies are called lichens. Alright. I already knew that. The werewolf people. Lock. Do you know what? There's a jewel up here, and you know what? I never knew that. Go to one gen. As I said, you won't see them because I already destroyed them all. I suppose we want to that church as well. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to save this church and I'm going to end it here. Let's look at the Maiden's Crest. Examine that, it's just the way to Liza's house. Louisa, sorry. So yeah, I'm going to save here. There's no data. Oh. Oh, here's everything here. As you can see, I've completed this game about seven times already. When I process the Village of Shadows, I'm at Heisenberg's. But yeah. I'm gonna end the video here. I just wanted to test out this new microphone, see how it would work. And so far hopefully it'll be a success um, with this new mic. Um, I can possibly do some better gameplay, get some better quality. And get some higher quality videos for playing as well, like my Elgato. Um, so yeah. Um, I'll see you in the next video. And hopefully everyone's had a good day. So yeah, goodbye.